their masterminds. Shapeshifters. They're just so incredibly alien. And yet, more like us than we ever could have imagined. A new documentary coming to Nat Geo next month explores the fascinating world of the octopus. And a new book just released looks at why these creatures continue to fascinate and surprise us. It's called Secrets of the Octopus, hmm. and it's written by Cy Montgomery, who's known as the octopus whisperer, who knew there was one, and yeah. <laughs> Warren Carlyle, who's the founder of Octo Nation, which is the world's largest octopus fan club. Who knew there was one of those? All well, right. we're going to talk to both of them now. Good to talk Good to morning. you. Good morning. We're, great. We're thrilled to be with you. We I, love to talk octopus. So uh, there's an octopus fan club. How many members are we talking? Uh, a lot of people. Yeah, over the past year, I mean, we, we've welcomed into over, 100, I mean, over a million people. Um, and we, this past year, we reached over half a billion people with our educational content on octopuses. Wait a minute. Are you in your bedroom and you've got octopus pictures on your wall and an octopus stuffed animal there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's not playing around. <laughs> so, so I feel like, you know, when we were kids, all I knew about the octopus is what I saw in the cartoons. But they are extremely intelligent animals. And, and I think we generally um, think of intelligence being mammals. Uh, where, what kind of animal is an octopus? And where does this thing come from? Octopuses are actually mollusks, and they're related to snails and clams, hmm. which is why it is so surprising that they like to play with the same toys that our children do. They enjoy dismantling and sometimes putting back together Mr. Potato Head. They enjoy Legos. They like puzzles. Wow. And they can reach out to humans, as I discovered when I met my first octopus, Athena, in 2011, and are just as curious about us as we are about them. So they're, the cool things I didn't know, they have a, they're smart, they, they can change shape and color a bunch of times, but um, what, what else is it about it that, that fascinates you so? Because there's a lot of animals and, and, and sea creatures out there that do weird things. Yeah, this is true. What amazes me the most is that here, humans and octopuses last shared a common ancestor half a billion years ago, back when everyone was a tube. And yet their minds are capable of so many of the things that we prize as humans, problem solving. Um, they are very emotional creatures um, and they have all kinds of powers that we do not. So when we connect, with a creature like this that is so different from ourselves, it really just kind of explodes your mind with awe. These mm. animals use tools, for example. Because they don't have the ancestral shell, they will even, as you'll see if, if you watch the film and, and read about if you read the book, they will use shells as shields. They will use shells, certain species of them, they will lug two halves of um, a coconut huh. for ages, lug, 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 looking like a, you know, a, a, a commuter carrying a heavy mm, breeze. Yeah. So, and then when danger threatens, they put the two halves huh. together and they've made themselves a Quonset hut. They can mimic all kinds of other creatures, wow. include fish and um, sea snakes, and they can even mimic the weather. They wow. can mimic as a passing cloud. So these are super intelligent creatures, and they're right here in our oceans. Yeah. All so the world sees. Warren, generally, one is not going to stumble across a, an octopus. So as a member of the Octopus Club, what do you guys do? How do you get your thrills <laughs> from, <laughs> from being an octopus fan? Yeah, for sure. So we have a network of underwater photographers from ah. all over the world. We receive hundreds, um, if not thousands, of comments a day. Just the other day, we um, somebody from Australia showed us that they first found footage of a, uh, a pygmy frilled octopus and sent it to us, and we shared it, and it went all over the world. 
Uh, and a lot of these people um, that take these photos, they've, they've never had their footage seen before. And so we really created a space for their, their footage to be seen, for discoveries to be made. We have underwater photographers. We have artists from all over the world. You know, we have academic researchers and scientists, and we really are the hub uh, for people to come and learn about this animal and, uh, and just check out how many different species there are. So, Sai, is there anything that is helpful to humans that we can, I don't know, do health-wise or learn from, from octopuses? Is it octopuses or octopi? Oh, it's octopuses. Oh. Um, if you say octopi, all the octopus people will get very upset. Oh, thank you. Oh, we don't want that. Greek word, and you don't want to use a Latin plural. <laughs> oh, I apologize. Yeah. Now you're in the know, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, for, for one thing, octopuses provide an incredible model for soft robots that can go places that we creatures constrained by joints, for example, cannot go. Hmm. But for me, the thing that the octopus does more than anything else that's essential right now is they're such a great ambassador for the ocean at a time when our oceans are under threat. And we are really enjoying right now the golden age of octopus research, which is why Secrets of the Octopus comes out at such a crucial moment in, I think, human history. Well, they provide us with a way forward of a different way of life, a glorious other way of life. Well, I have to say your, your enthusiasm for the octopus, both of you, infectious. It really yeah. is. And it's so for more, you can check out SciMontgomery.com or follow Sci on Instagram. Check out Octonation.com. And it's, the book is called Secrets of the Octopus. Thank you both for being yeah. with us. Thank you. Thank you.